Hello everyone, what's happening? I am the Master 974 back again today with another Halo Reach Fight Fight matchmaking episode. I'm sure that everyone's going to be sick of this game by now. I sure am not, but of course it's my perspective, so obviously I'm not going to think that I'm bored of this game, but the people watching it might be, especially with how bland my commentary has been at times. So, what's the purpose of doing the video this time? Well... Weekly challenge, again, 150 waves in Fight Fight Matchmaking, and it's only the 4th of April, so the 4th of the 4th, 18. So, I've got 133 out of 150 waves, and my idea was to play four games this episode. So, it'll be like the DLC and get into a general special. However, this time around, it's more so I can just do a challenge, and a weekly challenge at that, similar to the last video where I did the exact same challenge Although the circumstances were a little bit different. And this will diff I'll try and differ this episode as well. So I'll play four different game types on four different maps. Even if it's a map that I hate. Even if it's a game type I hate. I'll try and basically get as much coverage as I can out of the firefight. Because I know there's some stuff that I've not even done. Oh, I just need to turn my TV volume down a bit. So if you hear a little beeping sound that's what that was. Uh, I'll take the Warthog actually. So, uh, just splatination. Double kill. Okay, that's probably not a splatination, but still. Oh god, why can't I turn all of a sudden? What the hell's going on? <laughs> I couldn't turn, I swear to god. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Get splatter spree. Shit, there's a guy on the. Oh god, I got splattered by the vehicle. <laughs> no, okay, sorry, that's a really pathetic laugh. But that's a dark shit fill laugh that is. Anyway, um stupid Twitch streamer weapons. What the hell? I fell off for no reason. Uh, and I died for no reason. That that's doing a DSP right there, saying you, you fell off the ledge and died for no reason, even though it's like obvious what happens. So I'm not off to a good start to be honest. I mean I'm playing on installation 04. Even though I think this is a average map, died for no reason. Three times in a row, I've died to bull crap coming out of a donkey's asshole. It's not fun. See, it's moments like these that make this series not fun. Because it's like, all I need to do is just not die and kill a bunch of enemies. On a game type that I think is actually pretty awesome. Yet, that is so difficult because the number one problem is that the enemies just do too much damage. And because I don't get good audio quality in the actual source recording, that I'm not able to hear stuff that you on the episode will. So, for instance, that last death I had, I might have gotten stuck by a grenade or something. But due to the way the audio is set up, I didn't even hear that happen. And I probably didn't even see the screen, if you will. Because there's like a little thing that happens on the screen that says that, oh yeah, you got stuck. I probably didn't even see that until it was too late, so... That's the problem with this. So... Yeah, off to a great start already. Three deaths on the first effing wave. I mean, that's all. See there, for instance, if I can see it coming, then I can defend against it, but... If it's coming out of absolutely nowhere, then of course there's not much you can really do about it. Because what I wanted to say, the argument I wanted to go on, was to talk about the online firefights in the Xbox One sort of backwards compatibility mode, if you will, in um, Halo Reach. Now, I'll go off on the record and say that on Xbox One, I can play multiplayer games okay, whether or not I'm, you know, where I am right now, which is my home, or whether I'm at my university accommodation, which I'm at, you know, during university semester time, that I can just play games on Xbox One okay. There's no problems. The only thing that will differ is the NAT type, but I think that just affects, you know, the sort of matchmaking connections you're able to make. So I don't think that really has a significant serious sort of effect on being able to play multiplayer games. Though I don't play multiplayer games that often anyway it really shouldn't have that big of an impact so nat type really is the only thing that should affect the connections maybe the even the environments in which the connections are happen which is just my bullshit way of saying that the connection strength differs from place to place 
However, when I'm playing, you know, Halo Reach on the Xbox One, backwards compatibility, I swear to God, you cannot play a game because the connections are so unstable. I mean, it's it's. I could just do this on this capture and just show you that if you play a game, you're automatically going to get everyone drop. Literally, everyone in the game drops instantly, and it, that's your fault apparently. Even though it's the Xbox One's fault, but. You know, I say that because that's kind of why my wave count for this weekly challenge is as much of a random number as it is. It's because I've been trying to play the online firefight and maybe even get a, you know, an episode where I'll get to play the online firefight the way that I initially wanted to. Way back when I had this series idea, probably in 2015, you know, have a few games of score attack then jump into the online. Possibly even evolve it into a live stream series where viewers can hop on play the game with me if they really wanted to But if the online is really really bad then playing with people is completely out of the question So that's what I wanted to say about the online firefight and playing it on Xbox one, which I'm doing right now It's I would say unfeasible Unless anyone can give me a solution to that problem, but I don't think anyone could because it's pretty much completely down to how Xbox One handles the backwards compatibility of this game and what can you do about that other than like mess around with the Xbox One but you know I don't have that sort of um, technical expertise or know how to really fuck around with that sort of stuff or even how to get this game to run at like 60 frames per second or something because that would be something that would be nice but I would have no idea how on earth you could really pull that off. So, oh man, I should not have dropped the target locator for the rocket launcher. Oh crap almighty, I died instantly. Double kill. If anyone's going to make a meme or something, then crap almighty, that's what you should be making a meme of. I died instantly because the enemy spawned right where I was and I wanted to use the rocket launcher on the Banshee. But then... I'm going to die again because I'm getting fucked up both orifices. All because I want to take out a Banshee. I'm having this much trouble taking out one effing Banshee. I dropped my DMR, I dropped the target locator. I don't even have a good weapon now to take these idiots out with. Oh, is that, a, that was a health kit. Okay, I didn't see that. I thought that had been like a spotlight or something, but no, it was actually a, a health kit there. I shouldn't really be running too far away because I need to actually get that DMR back or die again so stupidly. I'll try and take this Banshee out as I just did because he must be drunk today or something because that was way too easy of a, of a Banshee kill. Because normally they dodge like crazy. You can never really get the rocket launcher to, you know, hit them. In this case, I must have just gotten very, very lucky. Hey, it's asses. How you doing, asses? Triple kill. Come to ruin your party, bitches. That's what you get for messing with me. I knock your ass out. Like, pow. I was like, pow. That's what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, pow. What are, you, what are you saying about him? Bro, huh? Eat that. Eat, how, how do, how do they, them apples taste, yo? All right, now I've actually ran out of rockets, so if another Banshee comes back, I'm screwed. Uh, I need to change tack. I'm going on a punching enemy spree, because they've annoyed me too much now. All right, don't spawn reinforcements on me like you did last time. I need to get my DMR back. There we go. See, if the game does what I tell it to, then everyone has a fun experience. Oh god, what the hell? Guy came out of nowhere, not allowed to do that shit. Double kill. You're not allowed to just spawn guys out of nowhere. Oh wait, you just did. It's kind of hypocritical, I guess. Oh, you're not allowed to spawn enemies out of nowhere, then how the hell's the game actually gonna work? You know, it'd be that sort of argument, I guess. Right, where the hell are most of the enemies? I wanna use the target locator and I wanna use it properly. Properly meaning you get the most most out of it, I guess. 
Oh god, they're all going to be here, aren't they? Well, abandon base. Abandon ship. That is how you do it properly. Killionaire for 100 credits. That is why I like to use the target locator, because you get a lot of credits, I guess. So, there's that. Bitch trying to stick me with a grenade. Obviously, that's not going to work. Okay, it might have worked earlier, but it's not working now. Just a quick thing. I want to see if that guilty spark Easter egg would still somehow work this uh, late into a match. Because I think what they said is that you have to do it right at the beginning. And obviously, I think guilty spark would appear right around there. But it's not happening because you would see him. So, unless it's a different game mode, like 2x score attack way it works. Because you don't even get the the marine sort of um, support in Grunt Parklips if you've seen there's absolutely nothing. So, it's a shame, it really is, because the marines can actually be incredibly helpful. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Anyway, way too many deaths to deal with just a simple game mode, I guess. Five minutes uh, remaining. Five minutes remaining. I, do, I don't even see how many credits I got there. That glitched out. Stupid guy saying five minutes remaining and interrupting my credit count. Well, I can tell you it's not good. It's really not good. 1,685 credits. I mean, that's... That's awful. Usually I'll go on record and saying that the game probably has sympathy for me when I do bad like this, but not this time. Oh, wait, let's get back into matchmaking. I find it quicker to just back out and then go back in because why wait the minute at between games when there's literally nothing you can really do. So following my what I said at the beginning of the episode, we're not going to play Installation 04 again and we're not going to play Grunt Apocalypse again. Fingers crossed. So... One thing I've no one thing you might have noticed, this is actually on the Xbox One right now, and I've got installation 04. And by God, I have not actually seen this since I've played on the Xbox One. So why not has why not get a shit game type on a map I've never even played on on the Xbox One? Crash site on an earth, ladies and gentlemen. You're not You're not gonna have a ruse, this is the real thing. And this could fuck up my wave count. This seriously could mess up my wave count, although I would need to like Fire fail, you know, pretty Those quickly. I'll get armor lock, why not? Spartan. Damn. At least we get infinite ammo and the generator is relatively Set. close to where we are. Skull. But I think we get phantoms and there's no ordnance either. And I think we only get one life, so I would need to fail in the first two waves, I think, for me to mess up substantially. Yeah, I'll need to fail in the first two waves if I am to not get the weekly challenge done on this capture, which would be astronomically ass of me to do something so, you know, awful. But we'll see. I'll just try and kill these enemies as I can, as I normally would do. And I think they should be coming from straight ahead. Yeah, so I'm kind of paranoid about getting hit as well, because as you've seen, all it takes is a few hits and then you're pretty much dead, so... Kill Trocity with the DMR, ladies and gentlemen. How many people can you say have done something like that? And I think the best I might have done is like a Kilimanjaro with a... Oh, what did I say? Kilimanjaro with the DMR. As I go ahead and get a, ki a Kilimanjaro with the DMR, so... It's definitely possible to get the higher end um, multi kills with something like the DMR, but the problem is with it's mostly against grunts, and you can't have these white grunts because they take two hits at the very least to take out. Plus, I think this is where they begin spawning in waves, so you need to be really careful about where they spawn because they can come from behind. Oh no, they're not, they're spawning in phantoms again. See, it's been so long since I've played Crash Site that I really don't care about how the you know, the progression works. But all I really know about it is that you just need to keep locking down the generator. When it's locked, they can't hurt it. But then you have to be careful there's not a ton of enemies around you when 
it's sort of cooling down. Oh, we've got skirmishers. I hate skirmishers, man. You never know, Skirmageddon might be a game we can play in this episode. Although, I'd have to want to be a sadistic prick if I really want to do that and go through that sort of hell. So I guess their idea is just to try and attack the... Alpha under the, attack. attack the generator, that's their primary objective. So we don't want them to do that. But while it's locked, I think we should be safe. So we just need to lure them away, I guess, or take them out as fast as we can. And I think this is kind of in a decent position, to be honest, this generator. They, have to, they only have a limited selection of, you know, areas they can come from. Which really is just down this way and then behind. They can't come from in front and they definitely can't come from behind other than down this way. Pretty specifically. So the good news is even if I do fail this game, I still am on track to beat this weekly challenge in two games. However, I have to be I would have to have a DSP moment, shall we say, if I'm not gonna get this weekly challenge in the next two games. So yeah, that's the situation at least. Oh, we got more skirmishers. The game loves me. It's giving me skirmishers. I hate these. Yes, they're so easy to kill. It's like, I hate them, but they're just as easy to kill as the grunts, if you will. Oh, and they get brutes as well. Yeah, so the last time I played Crash Site, in all honesty, was probably that episode where I played... Um, crash site on waterfront which I would argue to this day that that is probably the worst score attack game mode you can ever have so not only is it the worst game type it's the worst map to play it on Jesus Christ these are so many enemies right now how am I supposed to dodge this I'm reloading and they're gonna get to the generator as well so I need to I need to kill shank some bitches Alpha under attack Hostile. See, that's the problem. They start attacking the generator, so you need to lock it. See, so literally just because I had one wave of brutes, that has messed up the generator health pretty substantially. So that's the problem. That's why I said you have to lure them away, because they do shit like that, and it's really unfair. So there's nothing you can do about it. So now I need to be extra careful to be around the generator because there was nothing I could have done there to really take out those pieces of shit then. So we're still here, and I'm here longer than I thought I would have been, to be honest, but still, it's something that you got to do. Now, I hope that I can actually beat a game of score attack, because that would be... No, sorry, beat a game of crash site. Oh, damn, we got elites. Usually in this vulnerability phase, they can really mess things up, so... Oh, need to be really, really careful about it. Great. Alpha under attack. Dude, it takes too long. That's my problem. That's my complaint. It takes too long. In that cooling down phase. Especially when they're all here. They can pull off some serious damage to that generator. Prick, what do you think you're playing at, huh? That dumbass. No, get away from the generator. Especially you. And you. And in fact, all of y'all, you can get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, ass, what do you think you're playing at? You're trying to sneak away from me. I see you. Yeah, you try and mess with me, I'll let you know there could be a little accident around here. And by accident, I mean orbital drop shot this place. Uh, are you even listening to me? Oh no, you're not, because you're dead. That's trying to do a Freeman's mind reference over the gameplay. I would actually kind of settle for a round of like heavy armor brutes or something, or heavy armor elites when there's less of them, but they're more powerful or more health ridden. That I can kind of deal with. If, if it's hunters, then I might as well just say it's game over right now. Okay, I'm not seeing hunters, but we've got to be really careful. Delete. They had to drop the phantom there. Are you kidding me, man? 
the Phantom could mess up everything. I hate it when they do that. It's like the head marker moves around all over the place. Alpha under attack. Fall down. Shit, my heart is racing right now trying to do this. I'm sorry if I'm not talking much, but... It's like I'm trying to hit the headshots and it's not working. Reloading. Come on, Chief. You've got this. You're the saviour of the human race. You can pull it off if anyone can. Faggot. No. No, they killed the generator. And I was doing so well. I was doing so well. I did it too. You saw that. Oh, and the guy didn't even finish his monologue and then we failed. Oh, well, we got to the last wave. They destroyed the generator by cheating, obviously. Or I destroyed it with the grenade. I don't even know. I'm kind of trembly right now after that because I really thought I could have done it. But, of course, that was a bad bad last wave to try and do to try and do that so shit game type on a average map with eh, decent success probability i would say is that one wave with the brutes that did it that one wave with the brutes that is why i lost because they did so much damage to that generator it's unreal like why why even have that and again, I would have settled with Brutes with heavy armor, even probably Hunters, to be honest, rather than that. Because that's just like, you're asking to lose, basically. And it's a shame I didn't have like, the drop shield as an option, because I could have you just, just deployed the drop shield around the generator if I needed to. Sadly, that's not really the case now, because the game's over. So why dwell on something that's happened in the past when you should be looking forward to the future anyway at least that's a dlc map so we got through the dlc maps on the xbox one for a change i never thought we'd be able to do that so we cannot play grunt parklips or crash sites i'm telling you now i don't ever play crash sites so that's out of the question it's just grunt parklips so the options for me really are 2x score attack and fiesta attack and it depends on which map they're on yeah, that's a problem Corvette's a really good map, but I know if I skip out on it, I'm not going to get a good map afterwards. So I'm going to skip out on Corvette, and hopefully next map I'll be able to play on Corvette. That's a pretty good map. And Courtyard is as well. Some of my favourites. So I'll look at this, and this is much better. Much, much better. Um, it's either Fiesta Attack or Score Attack. You know what, let's mix things up. I'll go for Fiesta Attack. So we've had Grunt Apocalypse, Crash Sight, Fiesta Attack, and we could even get something different for the last game and not have 2x score attack whatsoever. Although I think every single map, every, every single episode I've probably played Grunt Apocalypse because that's how much I love that game type. Though not on Installation 04. And not on Waterfront. Defend this area and I'll tell you what, I'll play as the Medic, why not? Mix things up. Oh yeah, we got the sword and the Spartan laser. We can't take any of the ammo, but... Oh, you guys are going to get fucked up the ass tonight, boy. Bubba. Oh yeah, that's what you... Yeah, you... Oh yeah. Double. No, okay, sorry, I shouldn't be doing stuff like that. That's uh, universally not allowed and frowned upon by absolutely everyone. So you're going to get sworded, mate. Another dead cut. Okay, we've got a rocket launcher there in case we need to switch, which we probably will do. How dare you try and hurt me? I'm gonna murder you, ass. Get back here. What? Did you just say something? He said like cog spree or something. I don't know. I thought I heard him say something. Unless it was a killing spree, but then it was like it came out wrong. And I think you can actually still get like the sword spree by killing people with like the stub of the sword, like this. This will count as getting kills with the sword. Double kill. I don't think that assassination counted though. And I thought you would have got a cool assassination too. I think that's not the case. Oh crap, they, they destroyed that really quick. 
That's a draw. That's a draw. Not the draw. The drop. The downside. Can't even say downside. That's the downside to having the drop shield. They can destroy it really easily if they wanted to. You can destroy it really easily if you wanted to. And overall, that makes it far worse and not that good to use. However, I do realise there is a perfectly valid and fun fully functional Spartan laser line around here somewhere, and I'm not going to let an opportunity like that just pass. So, you're mine. And I died instantly to absolutely nothing. I mean, I absolutely love it when that happens. You die instantly. Instantly to literally zero. Nothing's there. You die instantly because of it. I mean, I just love it when that happens. I hope you can tell in the tone of my voice that you can tell that I absolutely love it when that happens. It's just... It's so awesome. Look at this. So, so, so I'll be here. Trying to get my shield back. Trying to get my health back. These idiots will find a way to destroy the shield. So I have to laser them. And I'm going to get killed. By trying to use a laser. I told you. Because that's the story. That's what happens every single time. Because they fucking cheat like scumbags to kill you. Because that's the only way they can do it. They can't kill you legitimately. So they have to kill you with bullshit and nonsensical crap like that. Which just happened there. That's what happens in games ladies and gentlemen. They can't kill you legitimately. So they throw nonsense your way. Break the own mechanics of the game just to get you killed. It's not fun and it's not fair at all. But you know what? People like me put up with it because you know at the end of the day you're better than the game and you can beat it at its own crap. So fuck these dumbasses. If I can assassinate them like I assassinated that grunt earlier, every single time I would do it. Because they're morons. Alright. Getting a bit salty now, obviously. Failing is not on my, you know, uh, list of things that should be happening playing this game. I mean, dying three times, and it's the second wave, too. That is unacceptable. It really is. Especially when I've pulled off perfections and that in the past. I mean, that's... It's uncalled for, man. And I got hit by this bastard who hit me in the back, so that's not fun either. It's like, you want to line them up, and then you just laser them like that, and you end up with a pretty nice multi-kill. Of course, it doesn't work 100% of the time, because you get hit by nothing, or some nonsense happens, and it messes up your attempt. But it is what it is. There's nothing you can really do about it, other than keep trying until you run out of cake. Oh, wait, we need to get some ammo. Keep going until you run out of ammo. That should be what it says instead. Ah, uh, bitch. Die. Reloading. Direct. Okay. So, I don't really have anything else to say. I mean, I've been spewing nonsense for like half an hour or 29 minutes right now. So, some people might actually put up with stuff like that, in which case you deserve a medal. Made out of pure gold or something. I can't really help you with that because I, you know, contrary to what might, you might think, I don't actually generate a hell of a lot of money, you know. But I guess people like me aren't destined to be, you know, incredibly filthy rich in life. And there are some people that are just like, you know, silver spoon in the mouth. They've had their whole lives given to them and they just feel so ungrateful because of it. Which I just have to go like, what the hell? But I don't know. I really don't know. It, but still, I mean, it is what it is. Some people are just born in better financial situations than others. And some people make it out of them. But I guess people like me are just meant to be living average to the point where you can't even get a gaming PC so you can actually do things you want to in decent quality and share your gameplay experiences across a much broader platform than what you currently can but I digress because I it's like me if I keep complaining that I want a gaming PC then if I'm not gonna do anything about it then I'm always gonna complain about it if I'm always going to complain about it, then what's the solution to it, you know? Other than just, like, do it. You know, like, actually just get one. But then the problem is they're expensive. 
and what the hell do you do when something's really expensive and you want it? Oh, as I burp under my breath there, I apologise. And I guess the answer to that question is you just save up your money and you don't do what I do, which is spend it every now and again. So it's like you can't, you're at the same, you're at like a approximate hot flat line almost but then it's like for instance uh maybe last week i got a uh, what was it a, a game called dead core on pc because it's art style you know generally interested me i thought it'd be an interesting game and it was a advertised as a difficult platformer and i would say that is you know true spending two hours on one level that is ridiculous if you ask me but that happens then there's uh, today actually, I think Steam's midweek sort of sale advertised uh, Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light, I think it's called. The Redux versions for like, I don't know, I don't even remember how much it was, like £6 or something, because I live in the UK, so it's pounds and pence. And it's like, yes, you can get, for £6 you can get two games, which... Keep in mind, I actually have Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light, just the regular versions, I think, on my brother's Xbox 360. And they haven't been made backwards compatible on Xbox One yet, so I have no access to those games. Right now, at least. My, but they're potential playthrough ideas, believe it or not, but I need access to my brother's Xbox 360 or access to the games on Xbox One. Which ain't gonna happen anytime soon, let me tell you. Tango down, double kill. But I have played a, like a tiny little bit of Metro 2033 though. And I remember, I think one of my high school friends begun a playthrough of the game, but I don't know if he ever, you know, sort of continued with it. You're in trouble now. Yeah, you're in trouble now as I miss the stick on you because I ran out of ammo. Nice. We'll take you gotta love it when I see contradictions like that. It's like, Oh yeah, I wanted to stick you with a grenade, but I ran out of ammo, so yeah, that's why I missed the stick. No, I would have just killed you with a headshot with the DMR instead. Not, you know, I missed a stick because I had no ammo. It's like, Last enemy. contradictions, man. Ah, get Narnied bastard. That's what you get. Someone's been watching a little too much Some Ordinary Gamers. Oh yeah, 3,000 credit jackpot boost. Game has sympathy for me for doing bad. See, I told you the game sometimes has sympathy for me because I do bad. This is one of those instances where that's the case. 3,000 credits. So I actually got 4,415 credits. Now, I would usually go on the record and say that's a pretty okay credit score. But as I always say also, it's the progression in the general grade 3 ranking, because that's the rank I'm at now. That sort of credit ranking is actually pretty... Um, abysmal if you really think about it it's not much at all and i think i did see a video in my recommended videos uh of someone who said like oh you can get like easy credit you know like easy an easy amount of credits and it's like yeah but what level are you and is it actually legit because i guarantee that most of these videos where they say you can get easy credits are going to be like faked videos or videos where you have to do like some stupid crap like oh you have to subscribe to my channel or you have to like my video and i give you extra credits it's like it doesn't work that way if i if honestly if i was to do a video i've had to get credits easily i would say play the game a lot get your commendations play well you know do all the typical stuff and then maybe sometimes you get lucky with the jackpots with the slot machine go for the daily and weekly challenges every day It'll be the trivial stuff that you know what you're supposed to do, not some stupidness where you have to go to some external source and you get some extra credits or some nonsense like that. But I digress. That's probably me being salty because someone found a way to game the system and I haven't. Though it could be perfectly legit. It could be a game mode that is glitched or something and you can get easy credits by playing a game mode that's obviously broken. Or just staying in a game type for hours and hours and hours in a day and the credit just sort of exponentially grows over time i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just complaining for the sake of complaining because i've been going for 35 minutes straight and i've still got one game to go but the weekly challenge 
is on the line here. So I want to pick a good map on a good game type. No, so I want to pick a good game type on a good map. I intentionally messed that up there. So courtyard probably would be a good one. I mean, beachhead, that's another good one, but it's not good game types, to be honest. I would love to camp with the sniper and just murder enemies, but again, we've already played Fiesta Attack. I'm not really a fan of Skirmageddon. One, you know, one X score attack, if you will, is that is not very good. I guess we're playing 2x score attack on waterfront. Oh well, it is what it is. You have to be, you have to deal, you have to live by the cards you're dealt with in life. That's just, I can't believe I mess up with my words so much sometimes that it's ridiculous. Honestly, I mess up so many times. And I like as well when I might go on an argument and I say something and it's wrong. And then I don't even realise it until after the fact. And it's like, yeah, you tried to say this argument, but you came out wrong. And it's fight, like... Fight. Probably because I don't really think about what I'm saying as I say it. Because this is not really a, you know, incredibly thought, mental, sort of um, intensive process. It's just you play the game and you have fun playing it. And you hope others enjoy the sort of shit that you have to spew throughout the video. So I would honestly be surprised if anyone has watched this video this far in, to be honest. I would honestly be surprised if that was the case because I've done some stupid crap and said some stupid things and some salty things as well so I don't know if you've watched the video this far then please let me know so I can probably like or heart your comment or something because I would honestly not know who made it this far in probably be myself way after the facts let's be honest here I'm the, I'm the only person that I watch my videos this this much this far in because people really don't like what I do I guess I don't know Double. so next topic choice uh, to talk about in this game type I don't know I would want to say that uh, I mentioned the firefight earlier and that is true what I said about the firefight earlier that you know, trying to play matches on the Xbox One really just doesn't work for me. It lags out really bad. Most, if not all times, the other person playing or other people playing just drop out pretty close to the start of the game. So you'll get into the game okay. You'll select the maps and all that okay in the game types. But when you actually get into the game, everyone begins lagging out. The controls feel incredibly slippery. You know, you can tell there's lag and it's really awful. And then, you know, they just drop. And then you're left in a game meant for four people by yourself. And it's like, where, where's the fairness in that? You're never going to do it. That, if I haven't already explained earlier, and I'm sure I have explained it earlier, that's why my wave count is so messed up. I see an ass up there. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Good. Thanks, Chief. That really wasn't bad. Or well, not that bad, at least. Oh, he got messed up. Did you see that? It reminds me of the previous episode. I forgot to comment on a elite that got stuck by another elite when I used the target locator in, like, the last match or something. That was funny. But, yeah, it's like the grunt killed him. The dying, exploding grunt corpse killed him. See, I, li I live for moments like this, and sometimes I notice stuff after the fact, which is pretty... Funny, that would be awesome if I actually realised that it happened there and then. Which will be the sort of reason why I would want to live stream this. So in case any funny moments happen, people can react in the chat and I can sort of go back and see what, what actually happens. So I can have a legit reaction to it when I see it, when it happens. Anyway, jackals. We've got jackals in courtyard. It's not really a courtyard, is it? It's waterfront, but oh well. We gotta keep going, pick up a grenade, murder some jackals, then move on to the brutes. Then I'll get my 30,000 credit boost because I've done the weekly challenge. After this wave, we'll all see what happens. We've already seen what happens when you do a weekly challenge in the progression, it, ho it holds. But we'll be doing it, you know, after this game. So, that's awesome, right? Of course it is. Everyone loves a challenge and everyone loves 
quick, easy credits. And all you have to do is play like 10 games of online firefights. And there you go, you've done it. It's pretty nice. So I try to play online firefights because I have been playing on my brother's Xbox 360. Yeah, yeah, I've been playing on my brother's Xbox 360. And I wanted to test if the firefight actually works on Xbox 360. The surprising answer is yes it does. I've been able to play a few games a couple days ago I think. Or if not yesterday at the time of this recording as I said on the 4th of the 4th. So this has been another one of those sort of extended captures. One after the other, after the other, after the other. It's like no individual matches like I used to do because my computer was bad to the point I couldn't even record. But you know. I think I just heard my name being called, so I'm just gonna stop that argument right there. Besides, worst case scenario, I've got another 10 minutes left to do this. So, I just gotta try and be quick about it. But this is a bad map, so you really can't do much. So. Oh, come on, how did. I swear there were more people with him. How did they... Okay, he killed himself. So what was that? Like a grunt corpse killing a jackal. Now we get brute punching a exploding canister and killing himself. You gotta love it when they do that. They punch the explosive objects and commit suicide. I mean, I love it when I see stuff like that. Oh, we got a hammer guy. Right, mate. That's why you don't try and no scope the boots. It just doesn't work. As was evident right there where I tried to hit him. Oh dearie me. Come on. I've, if, I thought it was the last wave where I might actually get the weekly challenge. I think I'll take that back and say it's this wave. So I need to kill a bunch of brutes with the assault rifle, which. Oh, there we go. 30. Thousand and eight credits. That is very beautiful indeed. So after this game, we'll see how much of a credit boost into the general grade three ranking that this weekly challenge has, and then beat this game when the episode off. And I might even try to play some Halo Five Guardians firefight sometime in the week. Although I would go on the record and say that those videos will go onto my stream archives channel. Which usually is linked in the description of these videos. So if you want to go to my Twitch account, if YouTube ever goes down. Or live streaming, I'm not able to stream on YouTube for whatever reason. Then, uh, you know, I have a Twitch account for that very reason. That and I use Twitch first. But then I never really got much notoriety on Twitch. So I thought... Screw it, go on YouTube. But if you ever wanted to follow my Twitch for whatever reason, then that's linked in the description. As is my stream archives channel and possibly my music channel too, the Gazatron stuff I like to do. So that's all in the description if anyone has listened to this far, you know, in this video has listened this far in to hear this and to really, really cares enough about that sort of stuff to actually give a follow or a sub or whatever. Though I would say if you're here then, you know, sometimes this channel is my main focus and I have some video ideas that I want to ax out. So, at the time of this recording, the previous video on the balance of probability would be Black Mesa Part 1. And the whole idea of that video would be to try and get feedback from the viewers to say whether or not they want me to upload my old playthrough of the game from 2015 when... You know, I thought Zen was going to release December of that year, but it's now three years later, or two years later plus, and it's still not, you know, Zen's still not a thing. Reloading. Or if they want me to replay the game in 1080p quality, potentially. Not 30 frames per second, because my computer, sorry, my laptop doesn't have the capability of playing Black Mesa at 30 frames and recording it at the same time. Let alone stream it. Why the hell would I stream it? Because that's not. That's just going to make it even worse. So, Black Mesa will be a recorded playthrough, and it's whether or not people want me to upload the old playthrough that I did, or just do a new one, or have a infusion between the old and the new. So, 
that's a potential stream idea. There's another ass up here, look. And only just got a sniper spree, believe it or not. That's pretty bad. Ass. I like calling people asses because it's just... Well, I don't have to say asshole, I guess. Or any of her, you know, explicit words. Dumbass, what do you think you're playing at her? Trying to kill the chief. You can't kill the chief. He's the chief. He can't beat the champ because he's the champ. Oh, did he just get stuck by his teammate again? Oh, he, he done like some Taekwondo kick on me or something. And now I'm dead. Yeah, well, you know what I say to Taekwondo? Shotgun to the face. If I can even aim. Shotgun to the face. I'm reloading. Yeah, are you trying to needle me? Shotgun to the face. Are you trying to sword me? Shotgun to the face. Are you trying to do stuff to me? Shotgun to the face. It's just... Spree. You know, you open the door, you're the butler, kills the guy with the shotgun, closes the door. I think there's another Freeman's Mind quote in there somewhere about the butler killing people with a shotgun or whatever. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Freeman's Mind lately, so that's why I've got uh, sort of all these quotes on my mind right now. But, and it's a really good series, and if anyone's never heard of it, then I advise you check it out. It's made entirely by one person, and yeah, there might be a massive amount of time between uploads, but you know that it's going to be because the uploader wants to make it as good as he conceivably can make it, so... You know. Oh, there's a brute over there. Snipe him in the face. Because that's what you do when you're the chief. Two enemies remain now. Yeah, I got the book wild. And now for the final the, the finale, which was to murder that guy without even scoping. When you've played this game enough times, then you begin to realise that you can actually just like no scope enemies or hit have body shots on enemies and all that. Alrighty then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've been going for kind of very close to and rounded up to 50 minutes straight we managed to get a pretty substantial credit boost we got 31,678 credits look how much of a progression that was in the general gauge free ranking i said this last time in the last episode the circumstances are exactly the same this time around so happy days i guess we managed to do the weekly challenge which was to do 150 waves of firefights online i've tried to play the online firefight but it lags out really bad on xbox one there's nothing i can really do about that so as far as i'm concerned i probably won't be able to do this series in the way i want to maybe the next step up would be to live stream it but then again you know how many matches would i play would i play the online yada 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 so uh, for now, it'll stay as the recorded style video in 1080p quality. Hopefully, you get to see it in good 1080p quality. Hopefully, it's all come out okay. This is one long recording, as you might have told me. I might have been able to tell. I'm slewing my words now. And I really don't have an award or a reward like I did last time. So, you have to settle with nothing this time around other than me beating the challenge. So thank you very very much everyone who has watched this for watching this video i really appreciate it i don't know what the next video is going to be i really haven't thought that far ahead but you know what enjoy the series hopefully you've hopefully you've enjoyed the series so far let me know what i can do to improve i'm 85,000 g this is where the video ends and i need to take a break so have a great day and hopefully see you later